Oh, I like all the pink tape. And so we're out here working on the 850, the K&M Renegade 850. This is the quad that Brandon uh, crashed at Iron Man 2021. Uh, yeah, it's been a while and uh, this quad has been sitting over there on the other side of the shop. So uh, we are uh, just got some parts and stuff for it now. So uh, uh, Brandon is, uh, so anyway, we're working on it. So we got uh, the, the last time we was at Iron Man, uh, as you guys saw, uh, him and Cody Collier was running first and second and uh brandon about three miles before the finish um went to taking a, a line to try to make a pass for the lead for the overall win and ended up clipping a tree and uh ended up getting a tie rod well when we did when he did that the the, the quad uh tumbled and um and bent a bunch of stuff so uh and, and it's what took us out of the race so uh it been a stem okay it been a stem here uh broke the air box back in this area here and uh of course it got the uh that um and then it got the tie rod on the other side um it broke the tie rod here so uh that's what took us out of the race essentially and of course it shoved shoved all this back so uh uh we did receive today some parts and pieces so we get we do have a brand new air box here uh from k and uh it's just associated oils and that kind of stuff but uh uh so anyway uh this is our project but, for uh, today brandon would like to ride this tomorrow they are going out to the property tomorrow to the camp and ride um and i'm going to tag along and try to get some video they've been riding a little bit and i haven't been going out there just because we've been busy uh with us being uh down uh for a couple weeks uh it's just got us behind so uh, i'm gonna try to tag along and try to get some video of them them right, guys so riding. put tomorrow. you guys down we're gonna get started on this thing. Brandon's already started, so we're gonna to try to get this uh, air box and uh, steering stem. Didn't get the steering stem. Uh, we're gonna pull it out, see how bad it is. Uh, don't know that we're gonna get one uh, in time. Uh, buddies at uh, Ryan, or Robert at uh, BNR Motorsports is sending us one, but uh, he would like to go practice this and ride this quad. So uh, uh, we're gonna to try to look at this one when we get it out and uh, see how bad it is and then potentially we may get the other one tomorrow we don't know yet so uh we're going to go ahead and get this we do have the air box and so there's associated pieces that uh that we busted so we're going to go ahead and get get started on that and uh get going so We've actually washed this thing several times and there's still a tons of dirt stacked in there it's just amazing where dirt gets at in one of those races you see where it's cracked up brandon oh yeah definitely cracked off in here where that stem just laid it back against it right mm -hmm. so Look at the mud in this thing. This is amazing. So, uh, Brandon has washed this thing twice, okay? And uh, it's just amazing where mud collects and parks its right, So we got the air box off. This is the new one here. And uh, this is obviously the old one. You can see it's cracked really bad. So what happened was the stem bent. It was bent back and, and broke this air box here. So Brandon's got to remove the hoses here and some associated, uh, you know, parts and that kind of stuff. Um, so he's got rubber grommet right here too, Brandon. We got to pull out. Yeah, I'm doing we got to put that in there. So, um, so anyway, we got the stem out, and uh, now, so so we did not get a stem in, okay, uh, in, in our in our arsenal stuff here. So uh, our buddies uh, Robert at BNR is sending us this. So what I done is I took this, uh, should have got some video of it, and put it on that. Okay, that's a press. So what we did is uh, we just pressed it and got it as straight as we can. And I think, honestly, not too bad, okay? So um, anyway, Brandon really wants to go ride this bike, this four-wheeler tomorrow. Uh, it's been since Iron Man Indiana. Brandon, we, we, what we should have did is we should have videotaped uh, how bad it was bent. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this darn thing was like, it, it looked sort of like this, okay? Uh, yeah, it's sort of hard to see. And then also it was kinked. Okay, so, so it was also kinked over. So anyway, I, I think we got it bent out pretty good. So 
we're, we're gonna crazy we're gonna busy at the shop we've been shut down for two weeks and uh went back to work yesterday and oh my goodness um uh been busy okay it seems like uh everybody realized that we weren't there for two weeks and uh decided that we were open and uh we just opened back up and my goodness uh we're blessed okay extremely 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 blessed and uh been busy but uh we're gonna take some time tomorrow and go riding uh miss karen hopefully lets us off at three o'clock tomorrow and uh, we're hoping to get out there and get uh at least an hour and a half moto in and uh it all depends uh on miss karen but we're gonna get up early in the morning we're gonna work late tonight and get up early in the morning get to the cart shop try to get all of our work done so miss karen can get us off let us off and uh so we can go and hang out and ride atvs tomorrow a little WD-40 helps. Yeah. It's not too bad. We also bought new caps for this too. Yeah. So, um, got a new cap for that also. It's crazy how the uh, up north um, dirt stains everything. Look how this, let me look at this. It's just stained. Down here in Florida, we don't have that. All right, so we're gonna attempt to try to do this. Uh, we got the 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 bushing out here, and then this little doodad here. So, uh, listen, that one right there was aggravating. There's a little, looks like it's a little bit of black silicone around here. Um, obviously, this is the the intake that goes on the uh, um, throttle body. Brandon has it here in his hand, so we've got to push this thing down in there. And this thing was a devil coming out of there. So we're gonna put a little bit of silicone around this using black and uh, we're going to try to shove that thing in there so we'll see how this see how this works out um not gonna be able to videotape it because brandon's gonna be pushing i'm gonna be pushing and i've got to get me a tripod so we can set you guys up here so you can see what we do here but uh anyway i'm gonna set you guys down now, ha, wasn't that bad so there it is there so you can see that we put the uh the black silicone around that and um looks like it's got a good seal so don't want any dirt getting in that now onto this one. We got this one on there, and uh, I'd say myself that uh, that looks like BRP K and M did that. Yep. Okay. So uh, this one got siliconed here too, but uh, they weren't that hard. Um, it uh, seemed. Uh, anybody want any dogs? Look, look at. Them. Um, Lily, the, the, this is this is my new one here. Look at her. Look at her. Um, she's gotten big enough to play with. Brandon's <laughs> so <laughs> um uh, German Shepherds and uh uh Brandon and Kyla's dog is called a panda German Shepherd because she looks like a panda I don't know what the hell this one is it, it's a German Shepherd so but we, she's uh like, got the airbox on there uh Brandon's got the stem in there and honestly well I better not move that um turned out it was pretty straight so uh no um Let's see, 20 ton press worked out pretty good. But um, all right, so so this is the little shifter lever I always want to show you guys uh, from Can Am Parts Guy on eBay. Um, can't remember what they were, but they weren't very expensive. I bought two of them. We're gonna put, we're gonna. In fact, one of our four wheelers has one. This is gonna go on the new build. But you can see where uh, this is all billet aluminum looks really good. And then of course that's the shifter there. So so the shifter bolts onto there. Um, still got to repair repair that. It did bust that too. But uh, for the most part. Uh, Air box is all on, stems on, um, got the flex bars that we're getting ready to uh, put on. But uh, I want to walk over here and show you this right quick. So uh, obviously we broke a tire, or Brandon broke a tie rod. Um, this is a tie rod that ended up breaking here. Obviously you can see the, um, um, this actually is supposed to go on there obviously. You know what I mean? So so it did, it did bent it. Um, that's supposed to look like this end here. So most interesting thing is this is the, um, the uh the tie rod end that was bolted in there it actually bent i don't know if you guys can see that but it bent here too so um we're going to obviously replace all this stuff but the, but this thing is bent this is not straight this is a little plastic shifter piece over there that i was just showing you guys um where it broke that um but anyway got a nice bill of aluminum one there now so uh so brandon's standing here drinking a uh gatorade and uh so, what are you thinking, Brandon, so far? Not much. Uh, so, almost done with all the broken stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, so, 
It looks like we might be okay. Uh, looks like we, we're yeah, gonna I mean, out. Brian, uh, well, I just wanted to pick up the, the camera for a second and show them the broken pieces, but uh, for the most part, it may be all right, right? Yeah. Um, I think at some point um, we will, uh, you know, redo the whole front end, bushings and all that stuff, which yeah. we just did this quad not that long ago. Yeah, and, here soon, uh, after Snowshoe, the last couple of rounds of GCC, that's when we did uh, all the front end stuff. And, yeah. Um, was the last time we did it was when we did the frame up yeah. okay so so it's got so right before it's got we went seven back. hours on it eight hours on it yeah so, so probably got we'll about do eight it hours. here eventually probably i'd say a few more rides with it and a couple more races and then we'll do it yeah yeah now more than likely we're not going to race this thing in gncc this year that's potentially not the, not the that's plan. not the plan yeah uh, we will, or you will, yeah. if you had to. But uh, our plans are is to get the other quad, obviously, um, you know, built, uh, which is going to be a project. Most but, likely, uh, this will be FTR race bike. Yeah, with my guessing. So yeah, so uh, and this this quad don't have very many hours on it. Um, but anyway, um, or it's only see backup quad as well. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, we'll we'll, we'll just wait and see. All right, so we're getting a little bit closer. Uh, uh, shoot, uh, tie rod Just got that on. Uh, Brandon's bolting the plastics on here now, and um, you know, um, put some hard bolts in there, some aggravating bolts to get to. But uh, um, but anyway, yeah, we're we're rocking and rolling on it, and uh, got to put uh, side side pieces here on there, the cell panels, all the foot plates, obviously the tires put back on there. And um, going pretty good on it, Brandon. Uh, running out of bolts and nuts over there. So that tells me that uh, getting pretty close. So, all right, let's go ahead and get the, uh, let's go get to finish up the plastics. Uh, steering stem all looks pretty good. And uh, tie rod all went together good. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get some more plastics and pieces that we got laying over there. And uh, all right, so we're getting a little bit closer. Um, I've got the footwell and all that over here done. Um, the one thing that uh, the one thing that we got to get from our our friends up at uh, uh, BNR Motorsports is uh, 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 Robert uh, and Ryan at BNR. Uh, what race was that at, Brandon Burrow? Uh, one of the races that they give us those uh, foot pegs. Uh, that was last race of the season. Okay, so anyway, so so we got a set of. Uh, uh, it's called Raccoon Racing. Is their um, their distributor basically? Um, how do you say that, Brandon? So, so, so the Raccoon Racing. Yeah, but that's like it, their, um, it, it, their it's brand. Their, it's, it's their brand at BNR uh, Raccoon Racing. Um, I think they just started it last year. I think is what Ryan was telling us. So anyway, um, so uh, uh, we we gotta get another set. Uh, Brandon really likes them, but but they're on this quad here. Um, they got a little picture of the raccoon here, um, but but Brandon really likes these. Okay, they're not crazy sharp, so they don't tear his boots up. They got a big kick up here. Okay, so he doesn't his boot doesn't slide off. Also, they're not really high. Brandon doesn't like them really really high because even even a quarter or a half of an inch it changes the way that he positions himself and rides on there. What's up, girl? So, um, but anyway, he 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 really likes those. And unfortunately, we don't want to take those off, okay? Uh, just to go do some practice with this thing. So, so we're putting the OEM ones on there, and uh, you can definitely see the difference. And yeah, we definitely need to get them. But anyway, uh, we have neglected to get those. We just just overlooked it, to be honest with you. So anyway, uh, I'm about done with this side here. Um, I just got to finish putting some bolts in here, and I got to bolt this down. I've got the bolts here in my hand. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys a couple things uh, about that. Uh, Brandon really likes those. So if you if you ride a Can-Am Renegade, um, that's they're a must. Okay, um, these things here, as you can see, they're not sharp and they don't have a very they don't have a very big kick up here, so you're more liable to slide off. Finish this here. thing up. Uh, we have started the quad up. The quad, quad started right up. Uh, had been started since Iron Man, and uh, it had started. It did start right up on it. So uh, we're. Almost done with this thing. We got to do an alignment when we sit on the ground. He's going to run it out through the yard and uh, make sure that the steering is nice and straight. The handlebars are nicely nice set the toe. Then we'll go out and we'll do the steering. Uh, just make sure the handlebars are straight. If they're not, then what you do is 
uh, you take both sides and you've got to turn them equal amounts of distance because what it does is uh, it, it turns the steering wheel one side or the other. Even though the toe is correctly uh, correct, uh, the quad could still be driving uh, you your handlebars at, at the Can Am Renegade 850 all completed. Uh, everything's completely done and warmed the engine up. And um, I took it outside, it's dark out here, okay. Uh, but took it outside, we did uh, set the toe in at a quarter of an inch, and um, I went out and drove it. And the quad is going to the left a little bit, okay. So what we're going to do is, uh, maybe I should have videotaped us doing the toe, but anyway, we didn't. So uh, what, what, now keep in mind, so, so it's a quarter inch towed in, but what I want to do is I want to take both front, both tires and take them, turn them to the right a little bit. And, uh, and that way we can get the handlebars really nice and straight. It's just a very, very little bit. What I do bit. is I put, um, look out puppies. Uh, I've got a, a black marker and I, and I just marked the top of the tie rods here. So I can make sure that I turn them both equally on both sides. You'll Same see another thing over here. Okay. So um, this one, we want to take the, uh, um, the 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 front of the tire and turn in. So what I did is I turned this tire rod the same direction. Okay. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll tighten those uh, 17 inch or 17 millimeter uh, jam nuts down, and then um, uh, I'll go out and test drive it again come back in here and see if that corrected my steering um the the, the handlebar is being straight with all right so we got the k m renegade all finished up uh we did adjust the steering and went back out there and tested it and then the pro racer he went out there and tested it uh all you gotta do is just run down a straight line you know you don't have to get real crazy okay turn around and come back so uh the quad's running nice and straight so uh this thing is uh completely ready to uh to go test tomorrow so uh, I got it full of gas. I just lubed everything, uh, lubed all the Zerk fittings. Um, you know, uh, so uh, the only thing we'll need to do is do air pressures and some other stuff maybe tomorrow. Uh, maybe put some put some mud plugs on there just so the dirt and dust won't, or the, the mud and all that stuff, even though there's not a lot of mud down here. Uh, the other thing I did too for Brandon is um, I always take the seats like this for him. This little corner on the, the Renegade seat right here um always gets caught on his boot so he likes for me to tape it like this even though we're just testing and then also it helps secure the seat a little bit too even though we have the uh the bnr bracket back here that's got a tether and a pin here that keeps the seat um keeps the seat on okay even though if the latch comes loose it's still got that little that linch pin there so uh i'm gonna go here and we'll see what brandon's doing the dogs are pretty much out uh they've damn near tore up everything in here and uh but there it's it's getting late and uh but we're just trying to get things together here so we can go test tomorrow and uh miss karen's hopefully be able to let us off a little bit early tomorrow and uh we'll be able to get out of here um and come home and grab the quads and go straight up to the camp is what we got planned here so so this is kyla's four-wheeler um uh, brandon's girlfriend and uh uh we made a few adjustments on the or brandon did on the uh, the vortex um uh when they ran it over there the other day uh the uh it was uh they were in hot brandon or not a little bit um, did, did light ever come on i believe so all right so i i, th I think she said the light came on the hot light and then also it was backfiring uh, a little bit so uh anyway so we adjusted the vortex to give it a little bit more fuel to richen it up a little bit uh um, although it's been hot now uh we did get a little cold front to come through the other day and a lot of you guys got snow up north i know uh that same cold front come through here and of course it cooled us down really nice so the quads may run better tomorrow okay but it has been extremely hot 85 degrees oh, extremely hot 80 85 degrees down here and uh the uh her quad ran a little bit warm the last time we have pulled the radiator out you guys saw a couple videos ago that we pulled the radiator out and um she's not raced it just been up there uh at the camp practicing and riding and then also went to the riding school this but uh, run a lot better. anyway so hopefully uh now brandon did go test it just up and down the driveway here uh we we got 10 acres out here and uh uh anyway he tested up down through there right quick and it did run a little bit better right brandon yeah no back so, firing like she's no, saying so yep should yeah. run a lot better hopefully that'll uh hopefully that'll help it right That's so 
So, so what Brandon's doing here now is, uh, I think I explained to you guys earlier, so we had the BNR Springers on this quad because we had removed them off the quad that sits in the other side. And uh, we sent these to Ryan at BNR and he rebuilt these for us. These are, um, I, I guess, what, air shocks, Brandon? Yeah, the Fox floats. So, 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 so they're Fox floats or something or another. Uh, we're, we're not too familiar with these things. This, this four-wheeler, this four-wheeler uh, come from a legend, okay? Uh, we didn't purchase it from him. We purchased it from someone else. But uh, this, this four-wheeler actually come from no other than Johnny Gallagher. So uh, this is one of Johnny Gallagher's old um, race bikes. What year is this quad, Brandon? you have any idea? I think it's a 15, 16? 15 or 16. So 15 or 16, and, and Mr. Johnny ran it sometime in there. So uh, uh, the people that had it before us always leaves or left that sticker on there of Johnny Gallagher on the side here, which I think is pretty cool. So anyway, uh, this is one of Johnny Gallagher's four wheelers. And I think at that time, he still may be on Fox. I'm not positive. Um, but Johnny, Johnny ran the Hauser front setup, Suzuki spindles, I think, uh, with the Fox Air or the Fox floats. I think he still runs that setup. Anyway, uh, Brandon, uh, well, we purchased this bike uh, from our friends over there, really good friends of ours, okay? Uh, Mr. Bob Parks. And uh, so anyway, uh, th their kids has, have grown up and went on to college and uh, he had quad sitting. So uh, he, he gave us a great deal for Brandon, okay? So, so we bought it merely for a practice quad. Um, so it's got some time on it, but, but it's okay. It's, it's, it's still a good, good four-wheeler. We've kept up with it. So, um, but anyway, it looks like Brandon's about done with these shocks. And um, uh, other than that, we're going to just gather some things up here. And uh, so we can be ready when we get home tomorrow afternoon to hook, uh, put, put everything on the trailer, uh, that quad, uh, this quad, and more than likely take the 850 there. Uh, the 1000, we're just going to let sit there. Uh, probably take this bike here. Um, that bike there runs really well. That's an 850. It's a 2016. And um, uh, uh, Brandon practices on it too uh, from time to time. So anyway, listen, uh, we've got the 850 all done and I appreciate you guys hanging out with us for tonight. And uh, we're going to wrap this video up and uh, I'm going to help Brandon get over here and tighten up everything on this thing. We're going to get all of our stuff together so we can go uh, ride tomorrow and I'm gonna bring the camera along and uh, maybe get some footage of these guys riding I'm gonna try to possibly put a GoPro on uh, The 850 here. I do have a place here that that I've installed the camera before so uh, I'm gonna try to put a camera on Brandon and um, Go get a little bit of footage of the track out there, you know what I mean? And uh, a little bit of footage of Brandon ride riding. So, listen. Um, as always, we appreciate you guys watching our videos and uh, and like, comment, and share. And uh, you know, let us know what you think about our channel. But uh, uh, we do appreciate everything you guys do. Until next time, do we'll see y'all.